Hi guys and welcome back to my videos. So today we're filming a Q&A video. I have my boyfriend here, Cameron. You guys probably know him as Face Kitty. Okay, so the first question is, how did we meet? <laughs> you want to take this one? Yeah, I've been asked this one probably 40 times in Twitch chat, so I kind of have this memorized here. Uh, okay, so this was... I don't remember what day it was. We were in Agony's chat, Agony was screaming, and I saw she was in chat, and as you guys all know, Kieran's really stupid ass cat emote. I, I started spamming that in the chat, and I saw her spam it too. I don't know why, but I creeped her shit. I thought she was cute, so I literally <laughs> whispered her on Twitch and asked for a Snapchat, and it actually worked. So the second question is, how long have we been together? Too long. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's almost been a year now. How is it being with each other? Obviously good, or I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Where are you two from? So I am from Finland, from Helsinki, which is the capital city of Finland. So I've been living here my whole, whole life. I'm from New York City. Okay, so then it's about you moving to Finland. Whose idea was it to move to Finland first? Do you remember? Whose idea it was? Yeah. To move to Finland, I think it was my idea. So how was the transitioning from living in? <laughs> okay, that one. How was it transitioning from living in the states to living in Finland? Also, love you, love you too. And uh, for me, it feels the most like living up in Maine because if you follow me for a while, you know I have a house in Maine. It like. Settings wise, it feels exactly the same because it's cold as shit <laughs> out here. The one thing I'm not used to is that there's like maybe five hours of sunlight. Yeah, but that's only in winter. In well, summer, I came we. During the fucking winter, so I came <laughs> at a bad time because there's literally five hours of sunlight and then yes. it's pitch black by 4 p.m. Yes. So I'm and not used to that. In summer, the sun doesn't set. How are you adjusting to living here? The time zone change. I'm never gonna be able to fully get used to that. It's weird, and the reason why is because obviously a lot of my friends are American. I'm usually playing alone like 90% of the time because I just don't really know that many UK people. Other than that, it's okay. So what are the pros and cons of Finland? So in my opinion, I would say the pros are it's cheap, we have free healthcare, uh, we have, fuck's sake, we have um, free education, and people don't talk to you on the streets. We're antisocial, so we don't have small talk. We don't talk to each other. The cons are that it's cold, it's always raining, it's dark. So what about, yo, body, can you like get off? Okay, what are the pros and cons in your opinion? Pros, like what she said, is cheap. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> He's coming back. It's cheap. Yeah, okay, that's about it. Cons. <laughs> So uh, it's very cold. Obviously, everyone here speaks Finnish over English. So I can't really like speak to anyone, honestly. Actually, one pro would be that people leave you alone. So like it, it kind of fits with the <laughs> language thing. Although not many people speak English, I don't have to worry about somebody coming up to me and asking me something. Um, do you like living in here? I personally do not. Even though we had like the great pros list, I do not like living in here. It's small and there's nothing happening in here. Yeah. <laughs> I could deal with it, but I would rather be in New York. Um, is Finland much different than New York? No, they're completely same. I guess there's like nothing similar in Finland to New York. No, not no. <laughs> no. It's literally the complete opposite of yes. New York City. So then people were asking about our future plans, so... Are we planning to stay in Finland or are we going to New York? So we're planning to stay in Finland for a while. I don't know how long, maybe a year, at least a year since we have a leash. After we can like move away from the apartment that we have, we might like actually go to New York. Any plans for you guys to move to the United States? If so, where would you guys like to live? So I have a lot of plans living across the United States. Cameron only kind of wants to stay in New York. 
<laughs> but I want to live in New York. Then I want to go to San Francisco or San Diego. Which San Francisco. I want to go to San Francisco and like, I don't know, maybe like... She wants to go everywhere. If it wasn't New York City, where would you pick to live? So where would you pick? If it wasn't New York, probably Cali, but I wouldn't want to live in LA. What's both of your biggest pet peeves of each other? You can go first. Oh, you collect trash. <laughs> Cameron collects trash. It's pissing me off. He collects. Can you go get your receipt collection? I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. All this in his pocket. And guys, these are not useful receipts. These are not like he bought a screen and he kept the receipt in case the screen breaks. These are grocery store receipts that you cannot even see what he has bought. Like guys, can you tell me what he bought? So he collects all these receipts. Also he collects like other type of trash in his room. So that's that's definitely the my biggest oh, pet peeve of you. I'm trying I'm trying to narrow it down to one. <laughs> that's like above everything else but it's the fact that she's a very very light sleeper <laughs> so i have no way unless i sit in complete <laughs> silence uh, i have no way to play any kind of games with anyone past like 11 p.m because <laughs> she just goes to sleep and i'll wake her up immediately uh, what is the most awkward or uncomfortable moment together I would say probably the most awkward or uncomfortable moment was the first time ever that I saw you and I was waiting in the airport for like an, for one and a half hours I was super nervous and it was so mm -hmm. uncomfortable I don't think I have an uncomfortable moment, honestly What is your favorite G Fuel? Well, I cannot answer this one because I have never tasted G Fuel Probably Faceberry or Blue Ice because the cans, both of them are really good I want to try Doc's flavor though because that one actually looks pretty good um, then about our top five favorite video games of all time. Do I do I have to pick like a specific Call of Duty, or can I just like say COD as one? You can like, say COD I like as every one. COD anyway. Call of Duty, specifically Battlefield Bad Company Two, Super Smash Bros. Because that's a game I just grew up on. I haven't played it recently, but I was huge into FIFA because I played soccer my whole life. Holy shit! What was the game? I think you were talking about World of Warcraft. Oh yeah, no, fuck FIFA. World of Warcraft, that, that counts as four. <laughs> and then, two, three, six, Half-Life. Oh. That's what it was, Half-Life. If any of you guys play that game, that game is super fun. I only have four. So my all-time favorite video game is Game Boy Pokemons. PC games, my favorites are Forest and Undertale. And my favorite COD was Black Ops 2. Because I love the zombies, so I would say like Black Ops 2 zombies only. Are we going to TwitchCon San Francisco? San Diego? San Diego. San Diego. As long as my visa is sorted by then, because the only problem right now is my visa is not processed, which means that I technically cannot leave. But as long as, long as it gets processed before then, then yeah. Are you getting a new pet? If so, Cameron, let her get a danger noodle. That's definitely coming from Kelsey. Yes. 100%. <laughs> I actually, like, I, I would want, like, a lizard more than Danger Noodle Because I feel like I would be afraid of the Danger Noodle most of the time But, like, a small lizard like that would be nice And we're actually planning on getting another dog before we leave to United States Okay, this is a weird question, but let's just answer it uh, What is your both opinions on afterlife when people die? So, I am atheist so I don't believe in like heaven or hell I don't know, I just think like when you die, you die And that's pretty much it And the energy that you have since like energy doesn't disappear So it's just like somewhere not like a ghost It's just like energy It's like unconscious energy It's just like floating around It's like I don't really know, to be honest I don't really know what I believe in I think being a ghost would be cool No, but honestly, but this I actually have been thinking about this a lot Cause if when you die, you become a ghost Since humans are animals That would mean that all the animals that have ever died Would also be ghosts Which means right. there would be at least like fucking 5,000 things At the same spot as you are Cause like all the animals that have died 
Yeah. So it would be so crowded that you couldn't even like still like always basically be standing on someone or something. Um, top three favorite music artists. You go first. Eminem, Linkin Park, probably Coldplay. Hey, why are you stealing my answers? <laughs> you saw them written down here. But, you stole my answers. Yeah, if I was stealing your answers, I would have said them immediately. And I would have said it immediately. No, he stole my answers. My answers are. Coldplay, Imagine Dragons, and uh, Linkin Park. Oh, then I have questions that I don't have screenshots from because I am a dumbass and I did not take screenshots. So, um, why and when did you start YouTube slash streaming? So for me, I started, started streaming a little bit over two years ago and I started YouTube a couple weeks ago. The reason why I started streaming was ever since I was like 14, playing my Call of Duty, my Black Ops 1, I always wanted to make YouTube videos. And I never really got into it. I was just like always dreaming about doing it. And so it's just like years go by and somehow I stumble upon Twitch. I made a couple friends and I told them what I wanted to do and they actually like pressured me to start streaming. That's, that's how I started. I started streaming, I think exactly two years ago. I think I technically started YouTube like nine years ago, but I didn't take it seriously for the first like five years. I think I mainly uploaded like little montages and competitive sniping, but I didn't really start taking it seriously until the very end of the Obey days for me, especially after joining Phase. That's when I like really started actually uploading consistently and taking it seriously. What do you wish you knew when you were younger? I wish I knew. Yes. Stop yawning, you're gonna make me yawn. Uh, oh, fuck. I wish I knew that, honestly, like, if you wanna achieve anything in your life, you have to step out of your comfort zone and face your fears. Now, I was saying that when I was 14, I was dreaming about being, like, doing YouTube. Now, finally, eight years later, I'm actually finally doing it. So I wish like that I knew back then. Like honestly, nothing bad could have happened from that. If it didn't work out, then it, at least I would have tried. I wish I knew that when I was younger. I feel like that's probably the same for me. And the last question is, what game have you spent the most amount of hours on? I've spent the most hours on Black Ops 2. Mine's either Black Ops 2 or World of Warcraft when I first played. If you have any more questions, which I'm sure some of you probably do, comment below in the video and we'll do another one. Oh, that's maybe, a good idea. maybe we'll do one for my channel too.